In the meantime, the country's budget for the defense sector is set to surpass 60 trillion won for the first time. This comes amid growing threats from North Korea. Our defense correspondent Choi Min Jung reports. South Korea's defense budget for next year will likely be around 61.6 trillion won, equal to 46.3 billion U.S. dollars. This is a 3.6 percent increase from this year. If the defense ministry's proposal is passed by the National Assembly next week, defense spending will exceed 60 trillion won for the very first time. In 2025, the ministry plans to spend 13.5 billion dollars to boost defense capabilities, including weapons acquisitions. This is up by 2.4 percent on year. It will also spend 32.7 billion dollars on operating costs for military forces, up 4.2 percent compared to this year. Funds are set aside to strengthen response capabilities against evolving North Korean threats. The ministry plans to spend 4.6 billion dollars to bolster the three-axis deterrent system. This includes 2.5 billion dollars on kill chain preemptive strike platform assets, 1.2 billion dollars for Korea air and missile defense projects, and half a billion dollars for Korea massive punishment and retaliation projects. The proposal also includes over six billion dollars to continue developing South Korea's KF-21 fighter jet, set to be completed in 2026. Monthly wages for enlisted troops will also increase next year. The rate of increase in the defense sector overall exceeds the proposed total government spending for two years in a row, stressing the importance of the defense sector given the grave security situation at home and abroad. Meanwhile, the Unification Ministry saw an overall decrease in budget of 3.7 percent for next year. Despite the decline, however, South Korea will seek to increase settlement funding for North Korean defectors in 2025. The funding to support North Korean defectors' early settlement is set to increase by 50 percent to over $11,000. Choi Min-jong, Arirang News.